Hello, Trish Parr here, bringing you a review on Fiber Rocket. Exactly how Max pulled in over 23K on Fiber without doing any of the actual work and how you can do the same starting today. Get faster results, secret hack methods not shown before. Perfect for stone cold newbies. Great for experienced marketers taking advantage of the changing world in 2021. A no quibble money back guarantee. Tap into three, over 3.4 million hungry buyers. Fiverr has exploded. This is how you cash in. Yes, give me Fiverr Rocket now so you can buy it straight away and you have a 30 day money back guarantee. Find out how you can get a ton of orders without doing the work yourself. Look at what Max is doing. 370, 700, these are screen prints of his income. Max turns $10 into $300 over and over again. Earnings. This says Max has done $20,075.59. Introducing Fiber Rocket. In Max's own words, I work as a freelancer and I started selling on fiber about 10 months ago and made 20K in this time and there is still a lot of potential to scale things up. I put together a super detailed fiber blueprint called Fiber Rocket. And he goes on, I recommend you read this. Imagine what it would be like to have people waiting in line for your services. Know exactly what to offer them. Know what, know that every month you get an extra income and see fiber sales grow and grow. So here was Max desperately trying to figure out fiber and then boom, he cracked it. You got some people giving some testimonies. You might want to read through or listen to them. And we're near the bottom here. Another testimony. Another testimony. Okay, so we go to the price and it is twelve ninety-five. Okay, we can return to the actual training itself. Trevor Carr introduces you to the training. Hey, it's Trevor Carr here, and I'll. And he explains to you that this is Max Gerson Myers training, and this is Max welcoming you. My name is Max, and welcome to Fiber Rocket. Presto. And collapse that. Proof is one video. Create your seller's account, one video. Finding gigs is two. The seven gigs that skill requires zero skills. This training I found very interesting. He explains some online resources that are available to be used for each of these, like logo animation, background removal, um, thumbnail flyer ads, and many more. For a presentation design would be templates, uh, ebook covers, uh, interior layout design, arbitrage and SEO reports. Very interesting. I, I enjoyed that. Creating gigs, I can only assume that those two videos um, were well done. Won't know unless I actually try to create a gig. It's this area that I found the training started to fail. So I'm going to collapse these. And I found that in the first video, the second video, the second video, this, this one at 141 inside. In this field for more than five years, just exaggerate a little bit. You know, you don't have to be a liar, but if you just got started a year ago, just say on your profile that you have had like 1,000 plus happy clients in the last five years. That's a little more than exaggerating. It's flat out lying. And I don't condone lying. You get caught lying online. It only takes once and you've lost your reputation. The next one is Gig Exchange. In this video, he explains how you can go on social media groups, Facebook in particular, 
and ask the different people to please go to your new gig, uh, present the URL to your gig, of course, and ask them to click on the heart icon in order to increase the popularity of your gig. Again, they went, well, that's still black hat, not what, not good advice. The next one, early sales at one minute in. I want you to hear the, the what he says for yourself, so they're not hearing it from me. You're hearing it from members Max. And let them give you a five star rating, and then just give them the money back. So this is what I was doing from my first day on Fiverr until now. Like whenever I create a new gig, I would sell it to friends or family members and just give them the money back, and just let them give me a nice five star review because this really pushes. Your Fiverr account every time if you have implemented all the other hacks that I was teaching you in this course and so but if you decide to, to sell your gigs to friends or family members this is actually something that is um, forbidden by Fiverr so you should be really careful that Fiverr can find out so if you for example Fiverr is going to find out enough people do it Fiverr is going to figure it out the next video is Gig Variations. One other really cool hack that has helped me a lot lifting my Fiverr business to the next level is creating several gigs for one and the same service. So as a no-level seller on Fiverr, you are allowed to create 7 gigs. So when I got started on Fiverr, I thought like, wow, 7 gigs, that's amazing, because then I can create an ebook cover gig, a translation gig, a magazine gig, a flyer gig, a copywriting gig. But th this is not what I'm telling you to do here. What I am recommending you to do is you go ahead and create different variations for one and the same gig. Now, ever, that, that's ever one. copy your gigs. So for a new gig, you should always use unique titles with a long tail keyword, unique descriptions, unique gig images, and unique gig videos. Because Fiverr will penalize you if you use the same gig image or the same gig title, for example. Come up with a new gig title, description, gig image, and a gig video. And you will be ranking your gigs on Fiverr for sure. Again, that to me, I think it's very black hat. Okay, the next one is delivering on time. Three minutes in. The, the third one is the order completion rate. And uh, yeah, when I said avoid cancellations, this is what I'm talking about here. Just make sure to complete 90% of your orders over the course of 60 days. So you can also cancel orders if your client is way too annoying or you just really cannot make it. But just make sure that these numbers here, 92% in my case, are always above 90%. So um, I never had problems with these numbers here. Now I have 92%, usually I have like 97 or 98. And one little trick that I always do when I am about to fall down below 90% is I just um, ask a friend or a family member to buy my gig and I, I would just deliver anything and yeah, get a five star rating for it and like this also my order completion rate would go up again. But with things like this you should really be um, very careful because Fiverr should really not find out that you're actually buying these gigs yourself or that a friend of yours is buying the gig but you're not really doing anything you just want to um, increase your order completion rate no it's called manipulating the system anyways um whenever i witness an inspector teaching this type of a technique um i call black hat and i recommend that the, anywhere in the training they do that it degrades the whole course for me it does uh, it, the value of the training goes to zero because I don't know what to trust because I already know that black hat is totally unacceptable 
So how can any, how can I trust anything that has been taught when an instructor would even think to recommend how to skirt any rules of any platform that has been created for a user to use properly? It just, to me, is morally incorrect. So I definitely get this a one-star training. And I say, go find your training for Fiverr. If you'd like to work on Fiverr, go to the Udemy website and take a few courses there. At least your instructors are not going to be telling you to do black hat. Hope you t will sign up to my YouTube channel for future honest reviews on the products that I purchase and review for you here on my YouTube channel. Bye for now.